How you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm all right. You yes, don't got your seatbelt on. I just took it off, actually. Hmm, everybody says that. <laughs> and um, your tag doesn't come back to this car. It doesn't? No. I, this is actually a borrowed car. It's my mother-in-law's car. Okay. It's my mom's car. Okay. Uh, What's your name? Dustin. Okay. Do you guys got IDs on you? I do. Yes, so, whose car is it registered to? Uh, I mean, whose Caroline. name? How long have you guys been borrowing the car? Just actually, we just only had it for a couple of days now. Mm -hmm. My truck broke. Mm -hmm. That's she good had work. Just, she just, she just bought, bought it not long ago. It was supposed to be it's been tagged. Uh huh. I don't so, think I got my wallet out from my house. Just good. Um, but I do have a valid drive. Okay. Are you from out here? Come here, my baby. Have I met you before? No. Maybe that's why. All right, do y'all have the registration in the in the car? I um no, it, it's digital. Digital. It's digital. Same um, stuff. Registration, I think. Or no, um, title, you have to have digital title. No, uh uh. Yeah. You can call my mom. And no, she'll tell well you. check the check the um glove box where everybody keeps it because. It's a digital title. There's no one called me. Routine 35. My officially blew up. I just got off work. See? No, ma'am. There's nothing in it. There's nothing in there? Okay. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay. So we got a problem. Okay. Because this car comes back to a convertible. A Mustang? Not a Saturn. A Mustang. She didn't get it transferred though. Yeah, it comes back to her old Mustang. Yeah. She had a Mustang that she was supposed to get transferred over onto this car. And how long has she had this car then? She just bought it. Um, 13 on Columbia Ford ID card, also in their day birth. What'd you say? I'm sorry. She bought it just a couple weeks ago. Just a couple weeks ago. Okay, yeah, they're, they're, they don't do digital. And then you live in Alachua too? Yeah. You live in Alachua too? Okay. I got you. What are y'all doing out here? Uh, actually, we were coming to look at another job. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. What kind of job? I, I own a small lawn service handyman mm -hmm. and landscaping business. Mm -hmm. And I do service calls. Mm -hmm. So I was coming to look at a hot water. Where at? It's actually, uh, the address says it's down here. About another two and a half miles, I think it was. Uh huh. And then I take a lift, and then go down another mile or so. I have to pull it up. You do you do house calls at at nine thirty at night? I do service calls. Yes, ma'am. Wow, that's a pretty good handyman. Okay. It pays a little better out there. Yeah. Hey, I mean, if you get to charge extra for after hours, then why not? You know what I mean? I mean, I wish I could do that. That'd be nice, huh? <laughs> Make house calls to certain people, you know what I mean? Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I said I just walked in the door and then I got the Yeah. Twenty-six. All right, give me a second, okay? She's got some plastic baggies in that um, center console. Okay, huh? He's a handyman. He's coming out to do a bid on a house down that way. I said, do you do that at nine thirty at night? And um, he said, yeah, it's it's good money. She's not coming back with anything. But she opened that, the RO of which vehicle? that um, console real quick, and then there's a whole bunch of plastic bags in there, and she put a napkin over top of it. All right. Um, do you all have anything in this car that I need to be aware of? No. Do you mind if I search the vehicle? Well, you're in possession of the vehicle right now, so. So, do you give me consent to search your vehicle? I can't give you consent to something that don't belong to us. You are in possession of this vehicle right now. 
I, I hear okay. what you're saying, but how? It's not mine to take. You need to step out. Go, go ahead and go ahead and step out. I mean, I don't. Go ahead and step out. What am I gonna step? Out? I'm telling you to go ahead and step out. Get her, Marie. I mean, I really don't know yet. Ask her to get a cigarette. Come on, just... Oh, there's a bag right there. Sir? Go ahead and, go ahead and put that cigarette out. Go ahead and put that cigarette out. A bag. Go ahead and put that cigarette out. It's just a package. Go ahead and put that cigarette out. Okay? Well, we'll figure that out. Man, this is crazy. You got anything on here? I'm going to take this position for Yes, sir. You can take that. Okay. It's just... It's I do have a pistol right here. A pistol? Oh, okay. It's a pistol. Put your hand on top of it. There you go. It's, just like that. Okay. It's just a little. Alright. Alright. Let's hold over here. Do you have anything on you that I need to know about? Yeah. Don't, don't reach for anything. No, ma'am, I'm not going to read it. You don't have anything on you that says hit me, pull me, or hurt me? No. Okay, do you have me consent to search your pockets? Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead and put your hands on the car. You don't have anything on you that's going to hurt me? Is it me? Okay. I had medications in my purse. In my prescription bottle. Yeah, there's stuff. So, so, uh -uh. Put your hands on. Anything. Put your hands on the I was car. getting my vape out of my I pocket. don't care. I'm gonna. That's my last time. I'm gonna tell you. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Easy as that. So, what were you saying was in your purse? My medications. Okay. Are they in a pill bottle? Yes, they're in their prescription bottle. Okay. So, why are you telling me about them? Just so you know Okay. Huh? Listen, I've been doing this for a while. Okay. Okay. So you don't have anything? Well, come over here behind the car. Go stand over there. Go stand right there, right at the front of the car. Where did you say she was talking to? Look like she's reaching in the front of the car. Yeah, I know. Grabbed something out of her purse out of that right there. When she when I told her to open the glove box um, for the registration, because she's like, "Oh, it's digital." I said, "No, there, there's no, no digital." No, no she um, she opened this and then covered baggies with a napkin. So That's why I saw her grab out of the purse and wish she was tucking towards the front of her pants. Yes. You want me to test it for you? Fresh, too. I mean, if you can get it out there, yeah. I mean, enough to test, enough to charge. Yeah. Oh, sorry. She's in cuffs. She also kept a resistant charge. She pulled away from me. I put her over the front of your car. Down with it. Here, Rooney, I got, um, I got better. Nice. That's all going to be fentanyl. Yeah. And I might be able to... Yeah, oh, look at it. Probably charge it with distributing. Is it more than four grams? I don't know. We got it. Um, if you want to test that for me really quick... Absolutely. Actually, I don't want to leave you by yourself with that I'm going to bring it, it freaks up there. Me out. Okay. Freaks me out. No, I, I agree. Where was that at? In her purse. In her purse? Yep. Okay. So I will grab this. Yeah. For you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. See, we, we both get prescriptions in X months older. <clears throat> and I don't think. Oh, let Let me call you right back. Okay, let me turn the air on for her. Hold on. Yes, ma'am. I don't think I'm. <sighs> Hold on. I, I'm not even out of my car. I don't think I have any bottles left with the actual label still on them, but I work with mobile homes and I'm hot and my handyman service too. And they peel off. But she has a prescription. I know she does. Yes, ma'am. Because hers has her name on it. Right. 
So that's what I'm saying. If I can get a bottle showing that she has a prescription. For the pills that were in your pocket? That were in your pocket? I'm scared. Listen, man. You can tell me every story in the book, and I promise you you that I've heard it. Promise you that I've heard it. Okay. So, what do we... I the clean clean record. I've never done anything. It's just a few... What do you mean you've never done anything? Like, I've got a clean record. Completely clean record. I'm 39 years old. I've never gotten any trouble. You're how old? 39. Never gotten any trouble of any kind. Yeah, but you're not that much older now. How old are you now? 39. Okay. So what? You don't you don't have a clean record. Yes, I do have a clean record. Yes, ma'am, I do have a clean. No, you don't. Yes, I do. So what are we gonna do about this? That's what I was trying to see. So if she has a bottle that has her name on it, that's her prescription. She's provided that by a doctor. L- listen, yes, why would she separate her pills in a different bottle and then give them to you? She said she has a bottle right now on her. She has her own bottle. Okay, is what right. I'm saying. Yes, why listen i'm gonna ask you one more time okay why would she give you some of her pills to put in another bottle see this is where honesty comes in very very big i did get a prescription but it's been a while ago i stepped myself down trying to quit i do still have a few left but with the job that i do and i carry in my pocket the label uh, gets rubbed off. Yeah, not like they were attempting and to actually you can't read them. break into anything, but he's like so, trying to figure out what he needs. You know, so then says that he's going to look at a truck. I mean, he, he just gives off the point. I, I don't know what to say. That's honestly, that's the other side of Opening the uh, hood of the truck and just real thick. Mm-hmm. We're, we're going through a thing with our child now, so we're, I'm trying to step off. Boy here is oh, well, she, she's not. She's not. Uh, apparently not. Yeah. So, you can't tell me that you didn't know that... Uh, come on now. I did not. I did not know all this going on. I did. This girl's on a street. We just got back together. She just moved back together with the Naughty ago. She just what? Moved back together with the Naughty Bones ago. And I worked a tremendous amount of hours. I honestly did. Hmm. And then I saw it on the gate. I run up and see the you have seizures? What does that have to do with the Xanax? He literally is driving north on 75. But what do your seizures have to do with the Xanax? He hits the dirt and then turns around and then drives southbound up against the fence and jumps. Hmm. What are those? Xanax. He's claiming they're his. But it doesn't have a prescription. Yeah, I work sweating all day, man. It just gets peeled off. I even put stuff in my wallet. Like my money's usually soaking wet. I don't even know that. You're gonna have to take them anyway. Mm-hmm. So the vial was positive for. Meth and then the baggies were all popped. Okay. So what are we gonna do about this? I mean, if it was Mike Rooney, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. 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 Do you have a firearm yeah. during the commission? No. Yeah. Thirteen on Columbia, Ten City Station. Yeah. Yeah. That's important. I gotta get that gun out of there too. Yeah. I got your purse, okay? Yes, ma'am. Um, and I put your wallet in it too. Thank you. Okay. And your fo- is this gold phone in here yours? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's in here too. Okay. Let me just double check. Yep, I left everything in here. This is your this glittery. This one's yours. Okay. What side is she on? She's on this side. Uh, separate. Follow me. Uh, possession. And also possession of a firearm and commission of a felony. 
Belly. Yeah, he had a Xanax pills on him without a prescription. Sheena was charged with resisting officer without violence, possession of drug equipment, and possession of drugs. Her total cash bond was set at $8,000. She was found guilty on all three charges. The driver, Dustin, was charged with possession of a controlled substance without a prescription, engaging in a criminal offense with a weapon, and possession of drug paraphernalia. His cash bond was set at $16,000. His case is currently ongoing.